What's up guys, more Medic One here uh, today. I just want to kind of go over uh, some miscommunication in some of the forums that I belong to on Facebook. Uh, a lot of guys are saying, well, my starter spins over and it goes halfway around and locks. And there could be several things it could be. You could have the, uh, the carburetors leaking and you actually hydro locking the piston. Uh, could be the valves out of adjustment. And lastly, it could be actually a broken uh, compression release on the camshaft. Now, let me show you this thing a little better up close. I don't mind the rust. It's just an old one. And I've got an old sump here. I, for demonstration purposes, I would not reuse this camshaft in anything that I would <laughs> repair. But... Here would your here's where your crank would come up through with your crank gear right here and it meshes with this camshaft and this camshaft spins at half the RPMs as the crank does. But what happens when this camshaft is at idle, not moving, the compression release is in its compression release state. And as this camshaft starts spinning, it slings this flyweight out like yay and let me show you and see how most of the time though it actually will break off the shaft will break off inside the cam here or this very tiny spring gives out and it won't let it you know retract back all right, so whenever this thing is cranking over and the flyweight is staying still under, I think it has to be like 300 RPMs or starting speeds to uh, get this thing to start uh, moving. And as you can tell, when it does move out, it clears the camshaft. And what this thing does is when it's in this mode right here, you can see how that protrudes, if it will focus correctly, it protrudes up about 30 or 40 thousandths and it lifts the valve tappet up just a split second to relieve that compression. You can see how much that would actually lift that tappet off of the camshaft just for a split second, just enough to relieve the compression inside the combustion chamber. And whenever this thing is spinning, It basically just has a flat spot and lets it fall below the lobe profile. And then the tappet just rides on the camshaft as normal. And not all small engines have a compression release built onto the camshaft. On some ATVs and some of the uh, Japanese engines, they'll actually have a, uh, a lever that you uh, twist on the cylinder head to relieve the compression. And like, a, and, and there are other ways to do it. Also, is on like on a two-stroke, uh, on a steel chainsaw, you'll actually have a decompression valve. It actually looks like an engine valve, and whenever you press it, it unseats till it cranks and it pops back up. A pretty neat system. Very super simple. As you can tell, this uh, lifter here is dished. This is for a push rod engine, probably like a 17 or a 14 and a half Briggs. Uh, this is the very, very old style, uh, one of the first uh, camshafts for the 14.5 or the overhead valve uh, Briggs engines, the single cylinders. They've since upgraded this to the skeletonized pressed on lobe camshaft and this will not interchange. This camshaft will not fit the newer songs. All righty guys, we got the camshaft looked at. I know this is a long time coming and hope that cleared up some confusion over there or if this helped you out and you learned something today about decompression valves or decompression re uh, mechanical releases on camshafts, let me know and give me a thumbs up and smash that like button and hit that subscribe if you would, would help me out tremendously. And while you're there, click the bell so you'll get all my new videos. Alrighty, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.